What's up everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Christian, I'm a realtor here in Long Beach, California. Today I'm gonna to go over the basics of escrows. Stay tuned. Okay, so an escrow is when a buyer and a seller come to terms and agree upon a contract regarding a certain property and they open escrow. Now an escrow is a third party or a neutral party to the transaction that makes sure everyone is performing with their obligations within the contract. Okay, so first, as a buyer, you have three days to deliver your deposit to escrow, all right? And as a buyer, you have 17 days to perform whatever inspections you want on the property, and this includes property inspections, termite reports, and appraisals, okay? You also have 17 days as a buyer to return the disclosures that the seller gave you, and uh, you have 17 days to return those disclosures to the seller executed and agreed upon. Now, the seller has seven days from the open of escrow to fill out the, the disclosures and send them to the buyer. Okay, and the disclosure is disclosing the, the condition of the property. Okay, so that um, the seller gives you the disclosures first, as gives it to the buyer, and the buyer gives it back within those 17 days. Now, a buyer has 21 days to get their loan approved, and a loan approval is different from a pre-approval. So a pre-approval is what you use to go out and look at property, and a loan approval is when the bank zeroes in on your file and looks closely at your financial documents to make sure that you qualify for that loan. Okay, so after 21 days, the lender will give you a loan approval. Okay, now these are contingency periods. So what that means is that a buyer, within those contingency periods, if they don't perform for whatever reason, they can back out and they can recoup their full deposit. Now, say you're a buyer and you get denied your loan on the 24th day of escrow, then you're at risk of losing that deposit. Okay, so these contingencies are there for the buyer to use just in case anything goes wrong, okay? And closings are anywhere from 30 to 45 days. It could take less time or it could take more time to close escrow, but typically it falls between 30 and 45 days. Okay, so after you close escrow, a seller will deliver keys three days after the close of escrow. Now, everything is negotiable, so you can negotiate this down to the, close, the date of the close of escrow if you're a buyer, or if a seller needs more time to move out, they can negotiate that as well. But one thing I do want to include is that everything here is negotiable. You can shorten these time periods, or you can extend these time periods as a buyer or a seller. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions. I, I'm more than happy to go in deeper with any of you. Um, so, yeah, make sure to follow me on all my platforms, Facebook, Instagram, here on, uh, on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe, like all my stuff, comment. And thanks for tuning in once again. My name is Chris. I'm a local realtor here in Long Beach, California. Stay safe. Have a great day. Thanks.